Here we are in section 4.3, exercises 1 through 9. Uh, it says graph the solution to the inequalities. Well, notice that these are actually problems from back in section like 3.4. Um, but they're good review because 4.3 is to combine two of these on the same graph. So let's give a good review to uh, being able to graph inequalities with two variables. So we get y by itself, subtract 2x from both sides, and we get y is less than negative 2x plus 18. All right, so we have 0, 18, way up high. We're going to zoom out a little bit. That's 18, and then it's going to go down 2 over 1. And there we are. Now notice this right here, let's remind ourselves, if we go like this, this means below, we're going to graph below the line. If it's like that, we're going to graph above the line. And if there's an equal to under each one of them, that means we're going to have a solid line, not a dashed line. So this one is going to be a dashed line coming down through like that. And then we are below the line because it says y is less than. So everything that is below the line. Good. Number 2. 5x plus 2y is greater than or equal to negative 11. Subtract 5x. Subtract 5x. And we get 2y is greater than or equal to negative 5x plus 11. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Let's write that down here. y is bigger than or equal to negative 5 halves x plus 11 halves. So 0, 11 halves is a point. And now it goes down 5 over 2. So it looks about like that. And this is a solid line. So let's go down through there with a solid line. And it says y is bigger than, which means from this line we would go bigger, which means we're on with this side of the line right here. Number three, y is less than negative 7. So y equals negative 7 would be down here at negative 7 and goes across this way. Notice we have no equal signs. We need a dashed line right there. Oops, there we go. And it says y is smaller than that. So we're going to be down below the line. So it's going to be all that down there. All right, number four, it's already in y equals mx plus b format. So we go up to 0, negative 4, which is about right there. And then the slope is 2 thirds. So up 2 over 1, 2, 3. And this says we're going to have a solid edge solid line as the edge of our answers. It says y is bigger than, so we go up above like that. Good. Oh, I went a little bit over. That part is not part of the answer. All right, number five. Subtract 5x from both sides. Subtract 5x from both sides, and we get negative 7y is less than or equal to negative 5x plus 1. Now, when we divide by a negative 7, everywhere to get that y by itself. Remember what happens. Dividing by a negative, it changes that less than sign to a greater than sign. So it's now y is greater than or equal to positive 5 sevenths x minus 1 seventh. Now be sure we understand that, that this guy and that guy are connected and switch around. So we start at negative 1 seventh, which is just barely tiny, and then we go slope is 5 seventh. So from there we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we didn't start at 0, 0. We start at 0, negative 1 seventh. So we'll notice that right here we have a solid line. So we have an equals, which means that solid line right there. And then it says y is bigger than. So all these points where y is bigger than the line are our answer. Number six. Uh, subtract 4x from both sides. Subtract 4x and we get 5y e less than or equal to negative 4x plus 7. Divide by 5, divide by 5, divide by 5. And we get y, let's write it down here, y is less than or equal to negative 4 fifths x plus 7 fifths. So we start at 0, 7 fifths as our initial point. That's a nice easy one. And then down 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we'll notice that this is a has an equal sign here, which will make this a solid line. Ah, there we go. Okay, and uh, y is less than, so we go from the line and down, so it's all this below the line is the answer.
Number seven, why is greater than negative 2x plus 12? We start up here at positive 12, zoom out a little bit to see that, and then down 2 over 1. And y is greater than, so we do not include the solid line, so it's going to be a dashed line like that. And then uh, it says y is bigger than that, so we're up here on this side of the line. All right, number eight, x is bigger than 3. Now, we don't have this in y equals mx plus b form. We just have to graph the line x equals 3. So we go over to where x is 3. And it's a vertical line straight up here like this, where x is always 3. Now, notice we do not have x equal to 3. So we don't actually want that line as our answer. It is going to be a dashed line like that. And it says x is bigger than, and we can see it's over here. The one thing where we don't go above or below, x means left and right. So x is going to be bigger than 3. Alrighty, and the last one. y is greater than negative 4 fifths x minus 6. So we have the point 0, negative 6 right here. And then we go on a slope down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so we are a dashed line we don't want to equal to. There we go. And then y is bigger than. And there we have it. Good.